We're here at 145 Sparks Road to taste some local favorite Indian cuisine. Due to the pandemic, a lot of people lost their jobs, lost their restaurants, and they were forced to start businesses from their homes. So today we're gonna taste some food from Auntie Kutsia. Let's go check it out. Welcome to a very exciting day where we have amazing people um, who have tried our food out before and wish to try it out again today because, uh, well, they think it's nice. So, Alhamdulillah, I have to tell you about that. The original Bombay Crush. You? Ooh. Mm. So, no, it's strawberry flavored. Mm. It's got sabja seeds in it. It yeah. reminds me of Ramadan. Yeah. No, and you miss your family and you make a milkshake just to remind yourself of them. That's what it feels like. This is one of our very popular dishes, always on repeat. Oh, is this curry kitchi? It's a curry kitchi, but that would have been a good idea. <laughs> so this is lemon rice with a butter fried prawn. Ooh, this is what creamy I was butternut and spinach. It's my favorite. Every Saturday, I book myself mm. one as well. Can you get him doing that? <laughs> wow! <laughs> what food? Oh, my prawn is nice. Oh. Can taste it's richly infused with butter. Got specks of chili in there. The garlic hits you at the end. So cream. So this is our baked potato. Always a favorite. I think in Joburg you guys call it spuds because they have somebody that says spuds buddy. But that is it. You keep talking, I'm gonna start eating. <laughs> Here is my personal favorite. It's a South Indian style fish curry. Oh, look, let me get a big prawn there. Oof, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a nice, nice bite at the end. A strong chili infused there. That yeah, prawn. Excellent. That's soji. Wow, soji. That's soji as well. This is just simple carrot salad, kachumbar. Yeah, so many layers. It's just, just better than and the ones that's oh, quality. Yes, I'm <laughs> sure. No, no, no. What's this? So that is a cottage pie. It's a rustic style cottage pie. Oh, really? So uh -huh. this is at home. It's like an ultimate comfort food. You eat it together with that. Like you literally just eat things together with a bit of salad those. dressing. And we're just going to try and put everything together. Brilliant. Crest salad, <laughs> creaminess of the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. We'll get a bit of make another long rice, prawn. Got some uh, rich buttery rice, cream spinach, cream of butternut. Mm. Going in for the lamb curry, the alugos. Get some potato in there. Mm. Meat is falling off the bone. Rich, melt in your mouth. Potatoes. Mm. The contrast of them. Spiciness, the sweetness of the rice. Something phenomenal. Now, she says you have to eat it as a combo. You get some of the cottage pie. You get some of this mac and cheese. Then, you're gonna get some of this salad. It's a nachi salad. Mm. Proper comfort food done. Durban Indian style. The baked potato. Kampir, they call it in Turkey. Gotta have something healthy. So it was baked to perfection. Lovely, good, delicate bites of meat. All around perfect. And lastly, we have the soji. Oh wow. Oh wow, this thing tastes like cake. Mmm, buttery, it's rich. Food, 
is fighting. We ate a lot of foods from different parts of the world. We ate pasta, which is Italian. We had aloo ghost and rice, a prawn curry from the south of India, an uh, aloo ghost from the north of India, and uh, chili butter prawns. I don't know where those are from, but they were delicious. And then finally, we topped it off with some faluda and uh, soji. So I'm done. I cannot eat anymore. Thank you, Kutsia. You're most welcome. It's been a pleasure. I really appreciate it. It's, been, it's always, always a pleasure. Hey, come on, man. Subscribe. Then share the video and click like. You know you want to. New videos dropping weekly.